Ms. Demings. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I, I care about the rule of law. I care about the oath of office that I've taken and that we've all taken and what it means to take that oath of office to heart. Mrs. Zelensky, first of all, congratulations on the birth of your child. I also want to thank you for being a nonpartisan career prosecutor who treats people equally and fairly. Now, I believe that those would be welcome words, especially during this time in our nation when we're seeing civil unrest in all 50 states. A Justice Department that treats people equally and fairly. But we know that most people in our country don't have a fixer with the title Attorney General. Mr. Zelensky, in your testimony, I, I think it's so important that we keep our eye on the ball. We have heard so many distractions here today, but I'm committed to keeping my eye on the ball to work hard to make sure that we do create a more perfect system of justice. Mr. Zelensky, in your testimony, you stated that political pressure resulted in the virtually unprecedented decision to override the original sentencing recommendation and the filling of a new sentencing memorandum that included statements and assertions at odds with the record and contrary to the Department of Justice policy. You went on to say that in the fraud and public corruption section of the United States Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia, um, you could never recall, you couldn't even recall a case where the government did not seek a guideline sentence after trial. Mrs. Zelensky, is that correct? Uh, that's correct, nor could anyone else in the U.S. Attorney's Office recall such a situation. So, so to be clear that you could not recall it and nor could anybody else in that office recall it either. Is that what you just said? Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Zelensky. Mr. McCasey, during your confirmation hearing, you said, I appreciate these words. I served in the department in the U.S. Attorney's Office in SDNY for 30, 35 years ago. I was never asked what my politics were. I did not know the politics of the men and women there, and still do not. And it did not matter. It had nothing to do with our job, nothing to do with the way we did it, and could not have anything to do with the job, and cannot have anything to do with the jobs of the people in the Justice Department today. As we find ourselves in this very critical moment, Mr. McCasey, do you stand by your statement? I do. And could you please explain to me um, why you do not feel that the Roger Stone case has anything, the decisions that have been made in that case have nothing to do with politics and have nothing to do not compromise your position here today and the statement that you made during your confirmation? Because the initial sentencing recommendation was wildly inappropriate, notwithstanding that it resulted from a mechanical application of the guidelines. The, the pr only person who determined the sentence in that case was the judge. She could have sentenced the defendant to any term of imprisonment or no term of imprisonment. She chose to sentence him in the, to a term of 40 months, which was within the second recommendation. That sentence, second recommendation changed nothing so far as the bottom line result because the judge is the only person who determines the sentence. Do you believe that the president nor the attorney general, who has been acting more like the president's personal bodyguard and his fixer, have not engaged in politics as it pertains to the president's friends? I can't speak for the president. The president is, by definition, a political... Based on your professional in the, in, no, no, decision, indeed. political or professional experience, do you believe the president has engaged in 
a political way as it pertains to sentences or what happens to his friends. The Attorney General himself criticized the President for tweets that he so said. So that's a he, yes. It's a maybe. Go ahead. Do you believe the Attorney General has engaged in politics in carrying out the President's wishes? Short answer is no. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you very much. The gentlelady yields back. A great senator. Hi, Chuck. He used to love me when I was a Democrat, you know. 